on this card. Wow. Why are you starting with the kids? Hey, I'll warn you guys now. If you're going to be inappropriate, I will have supervision down and give all of you a Saturday school for next year. Would you look at this mess? This video is brought to you by Angel Tree Camp. Angel Tree Camp, ladies and gentlemen, we've already sent 570 at this point um, kids to the summer camp. It's $200 to send one kid, all expenses paid, to the summer camp that's going to teach them the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're going to meet new friends. They're going to have exp an experience of a lifetime. I, I just, I cannot say it enough how invaluable this is. Our goal was 292. Now we have 560 something. I want to go to 600. I want to go to 700. The more kids that we send to the camp, the more. We are making an impact on people's lives forever. And it's not their fault their parents are incarcerated, but we're going to be the hands and feet that God has called us to be. Give if you can give. You ain't got the money. Hey, you ain't got no money. If you have the money to give, be a blessing to somebody else and give. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. The link is in the description section. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Like, I don't know how many videos I got to make about this, but I think that it's invaluable to inform you what's going on in the school system. Because they are here telling us they're not, they're not over here trying to brainwash our kids. They're not forcing it on the kids. They're just trying to be inclusive. Now, I want you to listen to somebody got a hidden camera in a classroom, and you can see how these kids are treated if they don't want to be, you know, forced to acknowledge this stuff. They just want to be kids, man. Let me show you the clip. I'm going to show you the hidden camera. And then I'm going to show you the video that the kids had to react to. And, and then I'm going to show you the parents' response and outrage. But, like, kids aren't trying to do this stuff. The parent, the adult, not the parents. Most of the, the parents don't even know this is happening. The adults are the one pushing this on kids. And they're just, they're just thrusting it on them, man. They're just forcing it on them. And if you don't believe me and your friends don't believe you, listen, watch it. Roll the clip, man. I ain't got to make this up. Roll the clip. <laughs> So the kids are booing because they don't want to see this propaganda. Wow, Miss Clark. Wow. Why are you showing this to kids? Look. Hey, I'll warn you guys now. If you're going to be inappropriate, I will have supervision down and give all of you a Saturday school for next year. So knock it off. Okay. <laughs> sit down. Everyone sit down. Community members at this Board of Education meeting in Granby, Connecticut, got very heated Wednesday night over a video the school district showed to lower school students. Universal Kids celebrates Pride Month. The uproar is over this 45-second video celebrating Pride Month. What Pride means to me is just being myself and standing up for what I believe in. And the messaging about transgender issues to middle school children. Pride means you should be able to be free. All my life I never really felt like a boy and I don't really feel like a girl, so I'd rather be both. The same way we keep religion. See, when, when I was going through school, they never did stuff like this. When I got to college, I took sexuality, sexuality or study of sexuality, sex 101 or whatever. I took that class and in the class, they talk about transgenderism and things like that because it's a college level course that where you can elect to be involved in that and you can take guidance from people who are professionals if you so choose. Kids don't have that choice. And these adults are given a different perspective than their parents are given. And those videos may have been kind of different. So I don't know if they were booing another type of video and this was a different one, but um, regardless, kids are getting exposed to this and the parents are heated. Politics, everything out of school, keep sexuality out of school, leave it to the parents. Now I'm being asked to be notified about everything that goes across the principal's desk. But I think there should be some sensitivity because I expect my kids to go to school and be challenged in many ways. This is a situation where they were challenged in a, in a way that maybe I didn't expect. Some were there in support. Resident Matt Brady said he is the parent of a transgender child. Beta. I understand that the video made some parents uncomfortable and I understand that you feel that sensitive topics should be discussed at home. I totally respect that. But these topics are obviously not being discussed at home. So if the, if the stuff is not being discussed at home, whose fault is that? You got a trans kid. You need to talk to your kid. If other parents are not discussing it at home, leave it up to them to not discuss it to their own kids. All right. 
or else there wouldn't be such an uproar. Mm -hmm. For those of you who think the kids are too young to know what the transgender people and kids who have two dads exist, I remind you that the fifth graders at school are sitting in the same seats that my son sat in two years ago. And there are kids at Wells Road right now that fit that description. The principal of the school wrote in an email to parents, Quote, it certainly was not intended to alienate or disturb any child. In context, we were trying to remind students that it is okay to be who you are and still be treated with respect, dignity, and kindness. So why don't you tell the parents and let them sign off and authorize for their child to be exposed to this type of behavior? Why do y'all got to be sneaky about it? And you send it out and the parents don't know y'all even doing this. It's okay to do this. But allow the parents to say, uh, this is my son or my daughter, they're, they're not mature enough to be exposed to this. I need to take them and explain it when, when I believe that they're comfortable understanding this or I can explain it to them in a more thorough way. I need to be able to see this video so I know what you're teaching and what I believe and making sure they're not conflicting. But they don't do that. They don't say parents sign off on this. If you want your child to opt out of it, you can opt out of it as a parent. They're, they're, they're saying, I'm going to force this on your kids because I'm assuming that you're not talking to your kids at, about this at home. I'm assuming that you're misleading your kids. And we are the arbiters of uh, knowledge for your children. Not you, dummy. We got it. That's what they're doing, in my, my opinion. Cal Reyes was listening to the meeting on Zoom. He has two kids in the school. It's inappropriate to be having these conversations in the classroom, especially without the knowledge of the parents. Nick D'Amato also has two kids in the school and says there's no place for this in the school. My father is an openly gay man married to my stepmother. My mom is an openly lesbian woman. And we were instilled uh, the values that, you know, you're very welcoming and accepting to people. But we were also taught that God gave us certain rights that the Constitution spells out for us and that a lot of service members have fought and died for to protect for us. So it's important to have a balance between the two and to violate that by sending this material to third, fourth, and fifth graders is unacceptable. Now the superintendent says the district needs to work better to communicate more effectively. Residents there are not buying it. The residents we spoke to, Kyle Reyes, who you just heard from earlier in the story, says he's pulling all of his children out of the school district. Nicole? Exactly. Pull your kids out of the school. I'm telling you, like, be mindful of what they're teaching your kids. They don't want to talk to the parents. They think they know better than you. They're trying to filter out all the trans kids in the classroom because they feel like what well, the parents don't understand. The, there's nobody understanding the kids better than the parents do. The parents understand their children. They understand when their children is just being rebellious or they got issues at home or the kid is just lashing out. Maybe they felt like that when they were the kids, their kids' age and they know it's a phase and they're working through the phase. You don't dangle it in front of the kids. You know, that's like that's like playing soft pornography in the classroom. Like there may be young kids that, that should not get exposed to sexuality that young. When I say soft pornography, meaning that it's not hardcore, it's people kissing and maybe a breast will pop up. You don't you don't expose young people to that. They're not ready to compartmentalize. And you don't expose them to transgenderism, which I think is on the same part as soft, soft pornography. You're giving a soft pitch to them. Hey, you know what? You could actually turn into a girl. And this is the thing that bothers me because I feel like that they force this on your kids. They get mad at everybody for disagreeing with it, but they don't give them a fair perspective. Like you're never going to be a girl. You can present as a woman. You can identify as a woman. You won't be a woman. And the little five-year-old is not going to understand that. And the adult in their life is not going to tell them that like, Hey, you're going to, you want to, have an image of a woman okay you feel more like a woman you're never going to be an actual woman and you need to be prepared for that because when your other female friends are having periods and they're getting pregnant you got to understand you will never experience that so these are things i think they need to explain when they start talking about transitioning but the thing is that even if you told a kid that at five they still not going to understand what that means they don't know what menstruating is 
They don't, they don't know what birth is. Some of a five year old may not even know how you have kids. They may not even know that it take a, you know what I'm saying? They may not know that's how they have how, how you have children. They don't understand that yet. They're little kids. I think that, listen, we can meet in the middle. I think for Christians, there ain't no meeting in the middle. But in society, we can say, okay, man, you can do what you want to do. Kids want to transit. That's between them and their families. That has no place in the, in the, in the public school. It's just like a kid being a Satanist. Are you going to celebrate Satanism? Well, no, that's, that don't make sense. If you can't pray in school, you can't celebrate all this other stuff in school. You need to be impartial. Anyway, I'll see you all on the next one. I got a radio show to get to. I'm out.